So, you like pizza, but you don't like popcorn. I don't know why those two things go together, because they don't. But I didn't have anything else for the intro, so hope you enjoyed it anyway. Hey guys, I'm Mets, it's by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to uh, make these cool little overlay text effect, where it's like a different color on the subject, and like a different color in the background. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and drag in our subject, which today is going to be Spider-Man, the, the real one, no, no, nothing other than the, you know, the superhero named uh, Spider-Man, also known as Peter Parker, but only uh, that's on Hush Hush, though. All right, so we're going to do that, and then we're going to go ahead and eye drop um, one of the red colors that's here on his suit somewhere, and then in the background, we're just going to fill that in with that color. So essentially, this is exactly what the, the cover for the video, video game looks like, and we're just going to like slightly change the color like that. There we go. All right, so... Everywhere that he's touching, I want this to, uh, text to be a different color, and then everywhere else, I want it to be, um, I want it to be uh, another another separate color. So we're gonna right-click the uh, layer that he's on, hit New Layer Group, and then just drag him into this group, essentially. So what, we're gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make our text. It's gonna say um, with great uh, with great power. Yeah, there we go. That's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna make this a little bit bigger. We're gonna change the font to um something nice and bold we're gonna do da, 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 da. uh garrett garrett's pretty actually not garrett nah. i don't want to do impact that's so boring all right we'll do this i guess all right so um we'll change this to a white color so we can see what we're doing nice with great power and then we're gonna line this up i'm just gonna go ahead and put a little horizontal axis you don't if you don't have this hotkey what, what, what you're gonna do is gonna go up to um I actually forget where. Oh, it's right here. Just click and drag from this left hand side, um, and you can just put a, a little a thing there. But to get this in, in the exact center, like like this, if you want to hit this, I, ha I have mine set to Z, so I have new guide percent set to Z. So quickly, just to set that up, we would go to um, uh, keyboard shortcuts, and then what we would do, we would type we would type in um, guide, and then new guide by percent. I have that. Just click that and set that to Z. Um, not shift Z, just just Z. There you go. All right, nice. So save and then hit close and then hit, if you hit Z, you can just hit vertical or horizontal and then make a nice little you know center point right there in the middle. So if we were to go ahead and change this mode to let's say hard light or something, you would see that you can't see. Actually, wait, we're gonna get rid of it because this this uh, has a little bit of bloom on the edges here, like this. So you can see we have a little bit of issues here next to this piece and this piece and on some of these edges. So we're just gonna go ahead and just very uncleanly just get rid of that real quick yeah so we don't have to worry about that nice all right cool so um with that done you can see if we have this on hard light you can see it only appears on the pieces that you know is above spider-man um and if we were go go ahead and du uh, duplicate this duplicate our text layer move it out of the group underneath spider-man and then you can see all the text is back but it is now a different color so let's go ahead and select all uh, the whole thing here um the one underneath spider-man and we'll just change this to like a light color like that something like this and then we'll uh change this from hard light back to normal by the way change the hard light um and i can see now um that we can have these be two different colors and everything that's on top of him is a different color which is really cool so we can do some really cool things here we can make everything that's on top of him like green or something you know and then we can make this stuff in the background a different color which i think is just super sweet um so i can actually go ahead and move this text down like this and have it like cover more of them and then we'll put that there put that there and back in the group and as you can see we have a nice little uh a nice little overlay background thing we make this in blue in the in the, in the foreground you know we can make the background more reddish if you wanted it'll blend oh make the background red no, i'm sorry make the background more reddish if you wanted like that and then we'll make the background itself like black yeah, so you can do a lot of really cool things um, with this uh, kind of effect, and it's super simple. You just can't move this, these texts individually, or else it'll like uh, put it off uh, center. That might even work. I mean, you might be able to like shift it down a little bit. It looks kind of cool, I guess, in some situations. But um, but yeah. So that is uh, that's how you do that. You can have this be any color. It looks really cool. I like it a lot. Um, like I said, if you want to move them, move Spider-Man, your subject out of the, the group, move both the text layers into the group, and then just move the text where you want to move it to, like you can move it up, up here. And then just make sure once you do that, put Spider-Man back in the group and then pull him out of the, uh, pull the text out of the, 
at the, the layer and put it underneath them. So yeah, that is literally how you do that. If you want to switch them, you can switch them, have the red on Spider-Man and the blue in the background. But the difference is you have to make the uh, mode, make sure the mode's on hard light. Um, and then the one outside of the group is on normal. So yeah, hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed this a nice, simple, cool, fun tutorial. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.